guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys a few things that I wish I knew before I went to college. Um, I just recently graduated from Cal State Northridge with my undergrad studies and now I'm going to graduate school. So I'm going to Biola University for the fall and so I just wanted to share some stuff that might be helpful for you guys for those that are starting your first year in college. Um, I remember I was excited to go to college and I don't know, it's just really exciting. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you commute, you will most likely not make friends. So if you commute, you're probably not going to make friends unless you put a lot of effort into it. Um, cause if you're commuting, you're probably just going to go to class, sit down, take notes, talk here and there, if, especially if maybe your professor makes you work in groups, then you'll probably be able to make a few small conversations with some of the students there as well. But after that, you're probably going to leave and that's it. You have to join clubs or you have to like talk to people, make lunch dates to go out and stuff or join a sorority or a fraternity. It's basically the only way you're going to make friends. Otherwise, you're pretty much not going to meet anyone. I mean, I mean, you'll make acquaintances and stuff like that, but you won't really make any college friends. Don't dress fancy. Everyone dresses really fancy and all dressed up and everything on the first like two weeks of school but then after that everyone kind of falls off the wagon I personally didn't do that I mean I dressed okay unless I had church or something somewhere to go then I would dress more nicer for that entire day but otherwise I would just wear whatever I feel comfortable in and that's it don't try to wear heels or anything like that to school no one's really gonna care and you you really do want to feel comfortable you probably will gain weight I know a lot of my best friend, everyone always says I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to work out, but in the end of the day, like, you're probably not going to be eating that healthy because your options get reduced and if you're studying or always on the go, you kind of just have to get something quick and mom and dad are usually not there to have you have a meal for you. So you usually eat out or eat even at school, but even the cafeterias, I mean, they have like fast food, it's nothing. It's nothing that healthy unless you're really really gonna try which is really 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 hard then you probably are gonna gain weight it is not a joke I gained weight like I don't know I gained like 10 pounds the first year of college registration is crucial it is very important that you stick to the registration date that they give you um you should be on the computer like right there I know some people might lag on it and stuff like that but it's crucial I mean if you're not there the classes that you need especially the first few years the first two years that you're taking general education those are the classes that are hardest to get just because everyone's trying to get in them and the ones that are usually left over are with bad professors so if anything I suggest that you also go to ratemyprofessor.com it's a great website where you kind of can find the professors that you might be um, considering to take and there's like reviews of other students that have taken that class or that professor and they let you know if they're hard or if they're horrible professors or if they're great professors it's really really helpful so I would recommend you guys check that website out get people's numbers you want to get people's phone numbers in your class that is very important because if you miss a day in class or you don't understand something or you just have a question sometimes professors take longer to reply or for whatever reason maybe you'll feel more comfortable asking a classmate it is very important that the first week of school you at least try to get like three people's numbers like three people some professors will tell you um take the time right now to like talk and like ask for people's phone numbers emails just it will really come in handy once you have them sit in front of the classroom sitting in front of the the, the classroom has its perks. Most of the professors that notice the students in the back, they usually pick on them. So I personally like sitting in the front, but I always notice that the professors will always call on the people in the back. So if you don't like to be called on, I suggest you sit in the front because usually they see that the front people are paying attention or they're sitting in the front for a reason and they tend to go always to the back and pick on the ones in the back. So there's a hint for you. If you don't want to be called, the chances are more on your favor if you're sitting right in the front than in the back. It's okay to cry. You're gonna get stressed and you're gonna get frustrated and there'll probably be a day where you're gonna cry and that's okay. You're not crazy if you're crying. There were days 
Um, there were like two times throughout the whole semester that I cried and I was just me, myself, and my laptop and it gets frustrating like sometimes you're just like trying to give up or, or you're not understanding so are you just struggling with something or things are going on so it's okay to cry learn to read fast so learning how to read fast by that I mean I mean if you're taking a lot of classes and each class is requiring you to read a certain amount of books it's kind of a lot of work to be reading every single page. So what you want to do is the first two weeks or up to the first exam, you want to make sure that you are studying everything. Obviously, you have to read everything, especially if it's your major. You have to know everything that you're going to use in your career. But, I mean, for your general education classes and all those other extra classes that you're not really into, you're just trying to get through, I do suggest that you learn kind of based off of the first exam how... The professor gets the questions or what it, the system is going once you get that down it's kind of easier to not read every single page from the book you'll probably get a like um in some classes um the main stuff that's on the exam are just keywords so you don't have to read every single page to just read the keywords just make a whole study guide just the keywords definition bam you're done another ones it's more of key concepts or more on i had a professor that it wasn't, I mean, you had to understand the main concepts of each reading, but at the same time, most of his questions were very specific to those boxes of figure 1.1 and gives you an example or figure 3.3. And so I noticed that he would focus on those. So sometimes I would just review those and study those figures mostly because sometimes you skip those figures. You're like, I'm not going to read that page, that entire page, which is just figure one, like, or table one. I'm not going to go over it. So just by reading faster I mean be smart about it if you don't have to read the entire book to get what you need to take the exam don't read it just skim through them you kind of have to learn how to skim through them faster so you kind of evolve with it you're probably gonna have a lot of free time but not really so you are gonna have plenty of time especially depending on how you um, schedule your classes either way you're gonna sometimes feel in the beginning that you have a lot of free time you're gonna be watching Netflix you're gonna be going out and doing stuff and you're gonna feel like you're not doing much but ooh, it, that was my phone ignore that so obviously I suggest that you don't cram all your classes in one or two days just because especially if you're taking labs if you're taking labs you do not want to do that that it labs on its own it's a whole different class and it, it's just one unit but I mean the coursework it's still almost just the same as a three unit class or three credit class I suggest that you spread it across the week because coming finals and midterm week you're gonna be thankful that you you're only gonna have to study for one or two exams and it's a lot easier you do not want to stress out more than you have to bonus tip I guess only for season students or if you're attending to season buy rain boots so because I went to Northridge, I wanted to say one big tip that I wish I knew before I attended Northridge. And that is, I know it doesn't rain that much here in California. And I went in with that mentality. I was like, yeah, it rains here. It's no big deal. But once I started going to Northridge, over there, when it rains and it rains hard, the, the streets get flooded. And I mean really flooded to the point that they get so wide that you can't really jump over it. You have to walk through it and the first year that I went my freshman year when it was raining I was like oh well, it's raining I love the rain I don't mind the rain and I don't mind getting wet but the streets were flooded with water and I had to walk through it because there was no way you can walk around it or anything so if you're going to Northridge I recommend that you buy rain boots because Otherwise, your shoes are going to get ruined because of all the water. You have to walk through it. There's no way around it. You just have to walk through it. And I remember seeing girls with their cute little rain boots walking through, like, all those puddles and, like, the overflowing waters. Like, nothing. And me struggling to, like, jump them or try to find a solution. Although, they do put, um, like, those small little bridges to go over the water. But that's more near campus. I'm talking about walking to campus because sometimes we would park a few blocks away from campus and to get there it was a hassle so if you're going to Northridge or you know anyone going to Northridge I recommend buying rain boots for the winter so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel 
subscribe down there I make videos almost every week I try to upload more than one sometimes it depends and yeah I I'll see you guys next time bye hi you guys welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk to you guys about acne and like well my acne and how I treated it and what happened and 